Welcome back to the Fits in the Morning Radio Hour with Swagger Souls. Back here on 97.1 WQXM Radio with our host, Fitz. In the morning. That's right. Morning for those in New Zealand. Let's go ahead and have some fun. What's the traffic looking like, Fitz? Well, honestly, Swagger, being out here for a, a couple of hours now in my car, crammed in this little Mini Cooper, I can't even fit in this thing because I'm actually like six foot five. What the fuck? What is this guy doing on the road, Swagger? He's, he's, swab- he's swerving all over the place. Oh, Jesus. He's, he's just blown. Oh, my God. He's crashing into a tanker. There's so much fire. Oh, God. Back to you, Swagger. All right. Thanks, Fitz, for that uh, traffic. <laughs> I got to tell you, it really is a hoot out there in the urban development part of the projects. I guess you just got to make sure that the police department is well funded and you won't have that stuff happen. <laughs> All right. Back with a word from our sponsor. We got Fitz here with the weather. It's raining sideways. All right. So it looks like it's raining sideways. Uh, uh, Fitz, you're, uh, you're just lying down. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, I, uh, I had a heavy night of drinking last night, Swagger, and honestly, I, I, I'm completely disoriented. It is actually raining completely normally. Uh, there's a bit of hail actually in the air, so bundle up tight and go outside with your lover and fuck in the park and play some Pokemon Go, just like you normally would do on a Wednesday night. Of course, uh, uh, you know, just have a good time out there. Be safe, kids. Use a condom. You know what they say, when it's a Wednesday night, wrap your penis tight with a <laughs> band latex. Coming down with your favorite man, Swagger Souls, and his co-host, Fitz. Hi. We're having a good night here today, and I gotta tell you, with our guest, we got Dunchi, who is a notable hey. sex offender in the area. Tell us how you became a sex offender. Hey, uh, hey, Jimmy, uh, I've been swagger. Oh, actually, I'm sorry, uh, who, who is Jimmy bit. here? Uh, is that the kid you diddled? That, that's so, me. Um, it's in my son, closet. Just son. leave me alone. Tunchi. Get back what in there. I it? swear to God, Jimmy. You better get back in here, you son of a bitch. Uh, I'm having to leave. I'm sorry, Swagger, but uh, I have to go. All right, well, to uh, take, your, uh, take your uh, son <laughs> with you. <laughs> I got you. So, uh, oh, that's, that's our you know, Tunchi. You know, those, those, those crazy kids. You, you, never, you, never, you can never get enough of the good old Tunchi. I mean, that guy's a real zoot. I got to tell you. Let's go over to our pal here. Uh, what was Yo your name? Fitz. Uh, I love your videos. We got a uh, we got a guy interrupting uh, Mr. Uh, Charles' broadcast here. Charles, what do you got to say about that? I got to say it's pretty rude, honestly. I got to tell you, Swagger, it just, just it really is uh, just bugging the shit out of me. That this Merlin guy over here wants to bump into my newscast, and I got to tell you, I got, I got a bone to pick with him. Hang on, hang on. Hey, get back here, buddy. I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh, you, oh Jesus. You, you fucking piece of you. you I'm gonna fucking. <laughs> <laughs> we well, we are experiencing some technical difficulties um, here. Uh, appears that we've actually lost our co-host here, Swagger. Uh, beating the like, fuck. Uh, yeah, oh. it looks like Charles is just beating the shit out of a guy named Merlin. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Charles, you all right? I'm uh, I'm all right. I he's just uh, he got the bloody knuckles, you know. I it's, it's okay. Well, Charles, uh, of course, is the guy who runs our Q and A segment here on the radio show, where he takes random questions from uh, callers and answers them live on the air. Charles, uh, you want to take that away? All right, that's right. Uh, if you guys have a thing to dial in, just make sure you dial 1-800-313-4448. That's 1-800-313-4448 if you want to dial in. So uh, just type in chat if you want to get dialed in here. All right, we got uh, just a door eight. Uh, going to be on the line here in just a sec. All right, what do you got to say, baby? What do you got to say? What's your opinion on these, like, recent terrorist attacks? I hear that ISIS is just beheading more motherfuckers. How do you take uh, this please, shit? Please, please, How have we don't. not nuked them? Oh, this is a family please, show, please sir. Don't, please don't curse on our, on our uh, radio station. Yeah, for if, fuck's if, sake. If it, were, if it were up to me, uh, son, I gotta, I gotta tell you, those, uh, those, uh, those, uh, those, uh, those Muslims, they, they'd be they'd be deader than a doorknob, but, but, but it's, it's not up to me, all right, okay? So uh, th- thank, thank you very much, Dari. Thank you for answering my question. Absolutely. We got, uh, we got, uh, Esteban Julio Ricardo de Ramirez on the line here. So, uh, let's just see what he, what he's got to say. Uh, it's all you. Esteban Julio Ricardo de Ramirez. Don't kick me out. I'm your lawn. Please, please. Don't kick me out. I'm your lawn for free. <laughs> Get out of here. All Come right. on. So, uh, looks like we're going to have to take a break after this call here. We got Bop, uh, with the, uh, entertainment seg- uh, segment. Uh, Bop, uh, uh, you, you were going to sing, uh, you were going to sing, uh, I'll Always Love You by Whitney Houston. So, uh, just, just Excellent. everyone, uh, just call out. Just I need a fucking Xanax. Oh wait, we need 
All right, so uh, that was the entertainment section. Bob. This was Bob, just I beautiful. Tell you, not too bad. Bob has really outdone himself this time. Tears in my eyes, really Wager. Tears in my eyes. Tear, tear to my eye. Tear to my eye. Oh, goodness. Not too bad. So we got a uh, guy named Luminant dialing in here. All right, uh, Luminant, oh, what, yeah. what do you got to tell us right now? What are your uh, opinions on Black Lives Matter? They do. All right, we got uh, we got Bob here on the line. Bob, tell us what we got. Hi. Uh, what do you think about McDonald's chicken nuggets? I got I, I I am a man who loves his tendies. I gotta tell you, tendies and tendies and my mom, the, the two inseparable and entities I, I can't have without. Yeah, honestly, what I, I like to do is I get myself a uh, twenty pack of McNuggets. I get myself uh, four Big Macs and a large Diet Coke because I'm watching my weight, and I just stuff those nuggets in between those big back buns, and I just try and make myself the best tower I can before playing Jenga with some of the employees. It's always a good time, and whoever loses has to, uh, you know, literally pour Diet Coke over it, blend it, and make it into a McFlurry. Absolutely. Even mm. if you have a little bit I'm of lace on that, it is absolutely mm. <laughs> scrumptious, Swagger. Absolutely scrumptious. Can you tell me your life story? All right, uh, no. <laughs> hey, uh, bulletproof. Uh, t tell me what you got. What, what do you got over here? Yeah. What's uh, your opinion of my mom? Uh, very juicy. All right. So uh, we got Faze Jamesy up here on the line. Jamesy, uh, what, what do you what do you guys say? <laughs> All right. So it looks like it's just uh, indiscernible noise there, uh, but I do speak. Uh, uh, poor, so let's go ahead and just s sift through that uh, potato microphone there. And it looks like he was trying to say, Oh my god, you guys are so rich. How do you afford such good microphones? And I gotta tell you, it is, it really is interesting. You just need to be able to get some money. Yeah, work the corner a bit, hustle around, and, and you'll soon be able to buy yourself a microphone not from Kmart. Get a job. We got, uh, we got a, uh, another no, question uh, through text here uh, from a Russian dragon rides you. Uh, how much weed do you smonk, uh, Swagger? Uh, now, I'm not exactly sure what smonk is, uh, smonk but if it were a, a wave ingesting marijuana, I got to tell you, when it comes down to the Mary Jane, when it comes down to good old Jane, they're the one that I like to dance with one more time before going away. That's an old lady song for you youngsters. <laughs> so, when it comes down to the good, good, uh, green, dank, marijuana, weed, kush, blaze, I really just like to smoke that shit up, baby, in a good old vape. Shove it in my blender, uh, turn the heat up to 350 degrees and uh, 380 Celsius for you fucking uh, metric users. Just put it in a muffin pan and just lick it up, and then the, the, the smoke will go right into me. Yeah, well, smocking. I have, I'm surprised you haven't heard about sw smocking, Swagger, because uh, it's been a technique that kids have been using on the on the block here. Of course, you are a pretty old man, so I'm not surprised. Uh, but uh, you, you know what it is, and what it involves is you get your vacuum cleaner. Uh, of course, I've got the, only the finest vacuum cleaner. I picked it up from Mike's Vacuum Cleaner Bar and Sponsor. And uh, of course, I, I what you do is you uh, you heat it up to the highest the highest heat. Okay, so hot that if you put the nozzle on your body, it will scald you. And then you put that dank, dank weed deep within the hose with a little bit of a filter on there. Suck up a big old pot of boiling water and just let that shit cook and steam so it's nice and uh, nice and smoky. And uh, within the bag, of course, you you just, you pretty much you, you you take that bag out. It's filled with all that nice cushy air, and you just huff that shit right down on the street corner, preferably wrapped around a uh, my little pony blanket swagger. That's how I do it, at least. Very good, I gotta tell you, but, uh, I, and honestly, when it really comes down to it, I think, uh, I'm so inclined that I might try it right now. So Get it, Swagger. Get that vacuum cleaner out. He's going for All it. Right, so, uh, so I just, uh, turn on the vacuum cleaner, then That's what? right. All right. All right, uh, give me one, one second. All oh, right, she's doing it. What do I right. do with the uh, vacuum cleaner? Yeah, so you, uh, you want to just get that boiling water and just suck it up, Swagger. Suck it up. All right. Okay. It's good stuff. Oh, the guy, it burned. It oh, burned, no, it's, it it's supposed to burn, Swagger. It's supposed to oh burn. God. Okay. Okay, you're good. Oh, you're shit, good. No, oh, Swagger, are you? Oh, I think we lost him. Uh, well, you are listening to Fitz and the Swagger in the morning radio hour, of course, here on 97.1 FM. Swagger Souls, are you there? Can you? Uh, I, uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, oh God. Oh, God. I think he... Oh, Jesus. Look at his face. Oh, my God. Swag Swagger? 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 I, I'm oh. here, man. I gotta oh. tell you. Oh, Ooh, Jesus. When, when, it, uh, when it comes down to smonking weed, I think... Mm. I think I finally calmed down. It's, uh... <laughs> It definitely uh, did counteract the effects of crack cocaine. Yeah. And it really did make my night. <laughs> <laughs>